What up? It's Tony from Rest Repose, and I'm gonna show you guys my rig. So right now I'm playing bass. Um, I was also the guitarist of this band. Until recently, we lost our uh, bassist. I moved the bass, moved Jared to guitar. He's a much better guitarist, and we found a drummer who's also much better. So this is all good. But uh, I'll start with Jared's rig because this is my old rig. This is all belongs to me. Um, so this is a Mesa uh, Rectifier 212 cap, <laughs> and then uh, in, inside the rack, what we have is Furman power conditioner, pretty basic. This is a Mesa Subway D800. This is actually the bass uh, amp that I'm using right now. Um, so this is separate from everything else. This, I just house this in here because it's a lot easier than having something on top of my own amp. Uh, it's a bit more convenient too. We help share the load and stuff like that. So the D800 is just a super dynamic amp. It's got a ton of crushing mid-range. It just sounds fucking awesome. And it's a tone that I've been, un been unable to achieve from any other bass amps so far. Um, but my mind's open. I'm down here with some other shit. But so far, that's, that's the one that I've played with a little bit of them. I tested a couple of them and this was the one that stuck. Um, this is a two notes digital load box. So basically what that does is we can capture the signal from the amp um, and instead of actually micing the cabs, we never mic our cabs if we can help it. We always go direct in. So the uh, amp goes into this and then this has an XLR out and we feed that to our soundboard that you saw and then feed that to the front of the house. So we don't mic the cabs. The cabs are going direct, I guess the heads are going direct into the PA speakers. So we don't really need to mic these, these are just for stage volume. We actually don't even need to bring these if we don't want to, but some of the venues can't keep up with that. So that's what the two notes is really special for. And you can create your own impulses, dial them in for whatever room, dial them in for whatever amp, it's fucking great. It's, it's really the best way to go. This is just a drawer. So I keep all my goodies, bass strings, uh, a lot of like cleaning and string changing stuff, my picks, a backup wireless, uh, backup cables for my power thing. Earplugs, which Jared and I both didn't use tonight for some reason. It's pretty rare we don't use earplugs, but tonight was one of those nights we just feel feeling the crowd. Sometimes if the crowd's big, you want to hear them, you know, like hear them singing and shit. And with the earplugs, and I can barely hear myself, let alone the crowd. So I think we both are just like, eh, fuck it, no earplugs tonight, which is really, really bad. Don't do that. Um, this is a Mesa Triple Crown 50. This is the newest model in their lineup um, right now. So they make the Triple Crown 50, and they just released the 100, um, but I've had the 50 for almost a year, uh, and so instead of here going out and buying all this new shit, I just figured, dude, just use mine. Sounds fucking, sounds good, so I didn't maintain the same integrity of our tone. You know, we didn't really want to switch up too much when we changed everything, so this way we, we maintain our tonal integrity, and uh, it's a lot easier of a transition for him. So this is a Mesa Boogie Powerhouse, traditional. Uh, it's 810s. Uh, it's fucking hits like a ton of bricks. It sounds fucking rad. Um, feels cool, too, when you're moving wind. Um, yeah, it's pretty basic, just a regular bass cab, but uh, uses speak on instead of like a quarter inch tap. A lot of bass cabs use speak on because it powers too much, it literally blow the jack out. So, um, this is our wireless units. We use Sure, I use Sure anyway. Jared uses Sure as well. Um, Voodoo Labs Pedal Power. Uh, this is an MXR Smart Gate. All my pedals are MXR, so Dunlop hooks it up pretty fat with us. Um, the Smart Gate's just a, a noise gate, it cuts down on the frequencies I don't want. Uh, com bass compressor. I still don't know what compressors do, but I'm told I need one, so that's why I have it. Um, I bear, apparently what it does is it stops like if I'm hitting inconsistently too hard or too soft. The compressor compensates for like the too hard of hits. Um, bass overdrive, I just figured, I just discovered tonight that that's, I'm, I'm taking that off the board, so I'm not happy with the way it sounds. Um, I mix hard with stuff really, really, really well, but that's one of the pedals that from them that I've just not been impressed with. So. That's gonna come off the board and I'll probably get something else by MXR, um, just because we love those guys and they take super, super good care of us. <clears throat> this is a TC Helicon Voice Live Play. Uh, I don't really use this anymore that much. Um, I was doing a little bit more of the vocal responsibilities earlier on when I was playing guitar. Um, and I, I just have decided they're not super, super necessary for me to be part of, so. Um, there's a part in, re in retrospect where we do the big woe woes during the, the chorus and I used to have um, a doubler in this so I'd kick it on and it would put some reverb in like a, a doubler on the voice so it would sound like multiple voices saying that that woe woe line so um, that I don't use anymore but we kept it on the board I'm actually gonna take it off this is a this is a gear invaders exclusive there you go so I'm not gonna use this anymore <laughs> we just got this tour too we just picked up these lights Chevaux DJ Intimidators. These are fucking awesome. They're super lightweight. They're not crazy expensive. They're about 600 bucks a mover, I think, or 400 bucks a mover. Um, so that sounds expensive, but to a band with any kind of budget that's looking to put their money back into their show, lights are like the fucking first thing you need to do. They're fucking, it's such an easy way to make your show like a lot better. Um, especially if you don't like to move a lot or you're tired quickly, it's really distracting for the fans, so they don't pay attention to you. Um, we also have two of these strobes, one left and one right. Um, and then those are all run from the computer as well. We're using a program called QLC, 
and uh, QLC runs into this NTech little DMX unit. It sends all the MIDI to the to um, all the lights, so all the lights are controlled with like a, basically hit space bar, and all the lights start to move, uh, and they're matched with the song, kind of like MIDI drums or MIDI keyboard or something. But instead, it sends a DMX signal to the lights. So this is my uh, my number one bass, my baby, Ernie Ball Stingray, 24 music man. It's pretty cool. I initially wanted the all black one, uh, like the stealth black, but uh, Tim from Ernie Ball gave that one to Josh from a day to remember, so I got this one. Uh, I'm just kidding. I actually fucking, he sent me this and I was like, yo, yes, that's the fucking one. Because I, I don't know if you can see, but it has like a sh sparkle to it, and I really like the zebra wood. And I like the stain, I really like the color. But yeah, I've been super, super hyped on this bass since I got it. Jared and I are Ernie Ball artists, his fluff is as well. Um, for strings, we have a full Ernie Ball endorsement, so we only use Ernie Ball. Um, so they hook it up real big. I used to use a five string, so it's the uh, low is 130, and I think I go to like 60 or something. It's They're pretty heavy. Um, I keep all of my EQs at uh, midnight. So in these bases, there's actually like a, as you turn it, there's like a little click. And you can feel it like stop. Um, I keep them all right there, so they're basically at zero. So I'll, I do all my dialing on the head and then the, uh, the pedals. And then this is the volume knob, or excuse me, where's, uh, where's zero on this? I fucked it up. This is the volume knob. And I just pin that motherfucker. 12. So that's my bass, man. That's the one I use. You probably won't see any other basses, hopefully. If you see another bass, it means this one's broken. So if you see me playing another bass, come up and give me your condolences and uh, donate some money to me so I can buy another one of these bad boys. Because uh, they're expensive to replace. But yeah, man, that's my rig. Thanks for hanging out.